Good evening ladies and gents and welcome back to Hit the Snake. Videos for no one. No one's watching now. Hey ladies and gents, Jack here and you're back at Hit the Snake. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm playing an old DOS game called Dangerous Dave made by our lord and saviour and best friend who now lives in Ireland in Galway. He's one of us, John Romero, as you can see on the screen there. This is the DOS version which was ported in 1990 for the company Softdisk. This game was designed and programmed all by John Romero which is really cool and it takes huge like huge influence from Mario which he's said himself and you will see shortly that Dave looks exactly like Mario it's really cool I think this is about the fifth game I ever played in my life on our old family computer when we still had a, a computer that ran MS-DOS I'm playing this on Boxer which is the DOS box native version for Mac on my MacBook Pro and I'm just chillaxed here I'm looking forward to playing it it's an incredibly hard game there's 10 levels I've never seen the end of them I've only seen up to about level 5 I surmise that I will not get to probably level 4 without losing all my lives you 4 lives once you lose the lives or if you get hit once you're dead so you go into each level and you pick up as many gems and treasure items and pearls and all that kind of stuff that you can to update your score, to get a higher score. But of each level, basically all you need to do is pick up the gold chalice and head through the door. So I have the gold chalice now and the game is telling me as you can see down there go through the door and just very quickly before we go through the door let's have a quick look at Dave as you can see he is incredibly similar to Mario red cap blue pants you know you get the deal all right so through the door here we go good work only nine more to go It is so hard. Now, like, as you can see straight away there in level 2, we've got some environmental effects that will kill you. So there's fire down there in that pit. And just under me here, there's a water pit. And you can't get those gems. There's no way of getting those gems. They're basically just trick gems put there by John Romero to trick people into jumping down there to lose life. I won't be doing that today because I've played this game many times. I know these early levels fairly well. I've got the chalice, so I'm going to just head through the door as quick as I possibly can. Now, this game was actually made before it was properly made in the form that we know and love it, the Doom and Wolfenstein form. So this game was made for soft disk by John. If you want to know more about the history of its software, there's a really good book which I'm going to throw up on screen called Masters of Doom. I cannot suggest enough to read it. It is it's like a Hollywood it should be made into a Hollywood movie. It's so good and it gets really into the character of each person that was there in id at the time <coughs> a lovely cough i'm gonna skip the history lesson and keep going so i'm on level three as i said the, these levels just ramp up in difficulty so quick so i have to jump over all these purple seaweed looking things because if i hit them i'm dead instant death basically you hit anything you're dead here's our first enemy on the right of the screen as you can see him a floating spider that shoots i suppose you could call it like fucking venom or poison or something so i've got my first weapon as well which is just a cutely labeled gun right here we go i'm gonna time this as best as i can that's our first enemy killed excellent and i remember the timing perfectly right so pick up these gems get over these purple seaweeds right i'm gonna jump up there now oh it's so nice playing old DOS games. Like, I could be wrong, don't quote me on this. I have a copy of it, well, a copied floppy of it. Uh, I think this game is a freeware at this stage. I might be wrong though, it might be owned by 3D Realms or, or something like that, I, d I don't know, don't quote me on it, or Gearbox or some of those companies. Alright, so the second spider, I'm gonna try to time this, it's very hard to time, very hard to time, and you don't want to go anywhere near them because they're hard to kill. Yes, right, second enemy down, and I still have my four lives, well, three lives on screen, but it's actually four lives. Right, uh, finally get over the last bit of seaweed. Excellent, right. So as you can see, there's all sorts of different treasures that you can pick up. Right, so I have to be very quick, careful here because what I want to do is I want to drop down straight so that I don't hit any of those environmental fires. Now you're probably wondering what's that at the bottom of the pit beside the gold chalice. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Just a tap. Another tap. No! Oh! It's so hard. 
It's so fucking hard. So that's one life down. Oh, I, I'm not going to last long in this game. I can tell you that, ladies and gents. It's, it is very hard, and I would highly suggest anyone to play it. I would su I hazard a guess that it's actually harder than the likes of. Perfect. That's the way it's meant to be done. I think it's harder than all of those Dark Souls games. Come at me, bro, if you think otherwise. Right, so I'll pick up that and go through the door as quick as I can. There's lots of traps. Like, if I went all the way to the right there with the jetpack and tried to get back in time, the jetpack would have ran out of fuel. There's lots of traps. Uh, John was a cheeky man trying to catch people out. So I can't go over to the chalice there. I'll show you why. Because I'm not able to make... I won't be able to make that jump without falling into that fire. I need a jetpack, and I know that there's a jetpack later on in the level, so I'm not going to go there right now. This is one of the first really hard enemies because you have to time it perfectly so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna jump now oh and i should have waited but i didn't now i've lost another life i'm telling you i'm not gonna make it to level five i will try my absolute best for you ladies and gents but i think this is gonna be a very very short video because this is a hard game and i might come back at it every now and then and now and then to try to try to beat it you know but i i just can't see it happening <gasps> oh, oh my god jesus christ Right, 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 right. Jump, 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 and down. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say screw it to those gems. I don't want them. Don't need them. So there's some water, which will kill you instantly again. Just so many things in this game will kill you instantly. There, it's a death trap of a game, but it's really enjoyable. Now I'm having trouble here getting over to the jetpack. Right, so I have the jetpack now. The door is all the way down this direction, I believe. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Yeah, I'm gonna stay... I'm gonna go back and get this out of the way first so that I have the golden chalice and I can go through the door at any time then once I have it. I might pick up some of them gems on the way, but it's just... it's tough. Like, you gotta be so exact with your movements in this game. I will tell you that now. I'll go up here. Ooh, yes, I'll go up here so. Although I might get shot at. Yeah, I probably will get shot at. Oh, this thing. It's the hardest enemy. I think if I go up there now, can he shoot at me up here? No, he can't. Right, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Timing this is in so hard. Right, I think I'm going to jetpack it across. Oh my god! That was so close! Oh my god, did you see that? Oh, that was so close. Right, okay. Up and jetpack across. Save as much fuel because you only get one chance with the jetpack, I'll tell you that. Right, so I have the golden chalice. Across again, save the jetpack as much fuel in the jetpack as you can. I'm going to follow the same tried, trued, and tested working way of getting past this guy. I'm not going to change it up because I only have two lives left and I do not want to lose anymore. Now, it's within your benefit, like Mario games and like any most platformers, it's within your benefit to actually pick up loads of items, like loads of uh, treasure items, because... If you actually keep picking them up, you'll get a, a one-up or you'll get another life, right? So I'm going to try to pick up as much as I can because I need to earn back a life. Oh, it's so scary. It's a scary... I remember, this is as scary as when I was a kid. But I loved it. I love Dangerous Dave. It certainly is dangerous. John was right. I wonder has... It, well, surely people have finished it. But, like, I wonder when the last time John has played it. Okay, I'm just... I'm just talking now so I don't have to move. It's it's a good thing there's no timer in this, uh, in this game. Right, I'm going to make a move now. Keep tight in, tight in, tight in. Jump. God, I jump. Oh, oh I lost the life. Oh, so stupid. I spent too much time talking. Ladies and gents, I might, I might not make it past this level. I hope I do, so that you can see some more of it. But, but that's it. Ladies and gents, that is Dangerous Dave. As you can see, I've played it before. I've gotten as far. Whoa, I've played as far as level six. Right, so. Maybe next time I'll get further. I'm going to leave it there. John got to level 1, as you can see there, and I got to level 4. Oh, that's depressing. Ladies and gents, this has been Hit the Snake, and thank you very much for watching. If you want more of this content, please do like, please do subscribe. Give us all that you got, because we need to keep growing, and we want to do more of this for you guys and for ourselves. Please comment on the videos. If you want more MS-DOS stuff, I'd be happy to do it, because that's what I grew up on. The first games I ever played were all on MS-DOS, so I'm an MS-DOS man. Let us know what you like and what you don't like as well, you know? We need to grow, we need to make differences. So thank you very much. That's it's been Hit the Snake, Dangerous Dave, I will be back for revenge. <laughs>